new at 530. For more than 100 years, history has recognized the Wright brothers of course. as the first to successfully fly an airplane. Oh, that came to a head in Connecticut last month when the governor signed a bill giving credit to Gustav Whitehead as the pioneer uh -oh. of aviation. Mm, well, we sent 10 on your side, Walter Hildebrand, to find out what folks at the Wright Brothers Memorial in Kitty Hawk thought of the Connecticut trying to rewrite the history books. As the saying goes, a picture is worth a thousand words. This famous photo was taken in December of 1903 as Orville Wright took flight for the first time in the plane he and his brother Wilbur constructed. At least that's how history has seen it until now. Last month, the state of Connecticut recognized this man, German immigrant and Connecticut resident, Gustav Whitehead, as the father of aviation and said there was photographic proof that he flew his plane, the number 21, two years before the Wright brothers. Over here, you'll see a big stone that has a plaque on. At the Wright brothers memorial, however, that story isn't flying. The things in my mind don't stack up. And this is the motion that will change the world. Tom White is a ranger at the memorial, and he'll tell you pretty much anything you want to know about Wilbur and Orville Wright, not to mention how these former bicycle makers incorporated so many of their ideas into their aircraft. As you look at the plane, for instance, all the wire, bicycle spoke wire, all the chain guides or bicycle frame tubes, you'll find uh, sprockets like for bicycles on there. And as for that photographic proof of Whitehead's flight, this is it, blown up 3,200% from a photo from a 1906 exhibition at the National Air and Space Museum. White's seen the photo, and he's not sold. My take is it doesn't prove anything. To the naked eye, it's very difficult to see anything. An expert, and I'm not an expert, would probably pull more out of that picture than I can. But just a glance at that, and like I say, the picture I've seen is a picture in a book of a picture of a picture. So it doesn't prove a whole lot from my standpoint. Connecticut's claim seems little more than state pride right now, and as far as Wilbur and Orville Wright are concerned, their claim to first flight won't be grounded anytime soon. In Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, Walter Hildebrand, 10 on your side.